<sighs> it's a beautiful day to shit on Konami again. Make sure you smash the ever-living crap out of that subscribe button and the like button and the bell. Just titty smack all the buttons so that we can get to 700 and then eventually 1,000 subscribers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Avery R32 here, and I want to first thank you all for over 1,600 views on my Master Duel is Terrible video. I really didn't expect that video to blow up as well as it did, and lo and behold, it's it's blowing up, and I'm gaining some subscribers from it, and so thank you very much for all of the support on that video. It really does mean a lot. Um, I wanted to make a video talking about some of the comments that I've seen in the video that at first I wasn't going to make a video about, but it seems like a couple people are making these comments, so I thought that it would be best if I addressed them and sort of made a commenters don't understand video. The first one that I want to look at is this person that says, the fact that Maxi and Skill Drain are at three in the game basically means that any deck that either A is in control, B can't beat the Maxi challenge, just ends up sucking. Also, Eva being at three makes Drivetron an instant surrender if you go second, and many more issues make me really want to play the game until I actually play. And this is something that I've seen a lot of people talk about. The fact that Konami is not putting in, number one, matches to where you can side deck. It's only, you know, best of one. And number two, a ban list that is just the OCG and TCG combined minus a couple of things. It's really dog water because you end up getting this format that not everybody wants to play in, especially the casual crowd. And I got several comments from people that were obviously casual and not super competitive into the game, like I am or Robbie Cole is or Simo, uh, you know, whoever. Um, one person was talking about how uh, they, uh, like, even the coin toss got hacked or something, which I think is funny that Konami has hackers in this dog shit game because they kind of deserve it because it's just a shit tastic game. But another comment that I wanted to look at was this person that says, The game is fun when I play. I've literally waited 15 minutes just for my first turn. I missed the days when you could actually play the game. Another comment that came up with this is that someone says, I got beaten one turn. Like, what the hell? The player had nothing in his hand, was just pulling out Xyz monsters out of nowhere and killed me on his first turn. I don't know if that's a hacker because I don't know of any deck that can just make Xyz with no cards in their hand unless it was maybe Zodiac. Um, but the complaints continue. This person said, terrible game, started a match, went second, set my card down, and lost. I couldn't do anything at all. How can you compete if they have already won the game as soon as they have drawn the first card? Another comment that I also saw that I'm having trouble finding here on the video is that someone was complaining about Xyz monsters being overpowered and just making the game way too fast. And I replied to their comment and said, bro, that's what the IRL game is like. And this is really the biggest issue with Master Duel. Again, besides even just all the balance shit and everything wrong with Xyz Festival and people just playing OTK decks that just beat themselves so that they can get free points or gems or whatever is what's going on with the festival, people don't realize that Yu-Gi-Oh! is not what they remember as a kid anymore. You know, it's not just you're going to summon La Jin and set a card in your back row. No, the game is I'm going to take five minutes to build a board with Omni Gates and you're just not going to be able to win. And really, the biggest issue I think out of all of this is if you don't grind enough and you don't have a lot of the good cards or you just don't know how to build the best decks or you don't know what the best decks are or you just don't want to play the best decks, you don't stand a fucking chance. I'll take my friend as an example who's playing basically what would be called Earthbox in the competitive meta, uh, otherwise known as Machinas. It's basically a, a Machina slash Machine Ancient Gear Shit dot deck. Um, sorry, bro, but it's you got some good cards in there, but it, it ain't beating no tier one deck. And his opponent was playing, uh, I think, Tri Brigade, and he started linking off of one of his cards, and my friend goes, Oh, what's he doing here? I'm like, I don't know what he's doing. He seems like a bad player. And then he dropped out Selene, the Link Monster, and I'm like, oh, he's going to make access code. You lose. Saw that shit from fucking two miles away. Sure enough, made access code, got it up to 5,300, popped his board, and swung for game. And he just doesn't stand a chance because it's a meta deck. Once you get up higher in, like, those plats and golds and whatever the fuck, diamonds, <laughs> um... It's going to be impossible for you to compete, and you're going to lose. You're going to get pissed off and say, well, the game is shit. Welcome to the IRL game, pal. And that's what's going to make their numbers really drop off unless they put in matches to where you can actually side deck. 
and then you have a chance to actually compete. Um, but until it's just single games, it's just going to be, okay, cool, I won the coin toss or whatever it is. I'm going to go first, build my board, and you can't do anything about it. You just got to cry and be a bad player. So more than anything, I feel bad for you casuals. Um, but there is also one more comment that I wanted to talk about here. So this person, I'm not going to put them on blast um, just because I'm not that kind of person, but clearly they don't understand competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! And I think they realize that they don't because then they didn't reply to my comment. They shut their fucking mouth. <laughs> so this person said, Link's ruined Yu-Gi-Oh! It's not the dev's fault, it's the card's fault themselves. So either he's trolling or he just doesn't understand how the game works. Because I said... Cards don't develop themselves, so therefore it's Konami's fault, LMAO. Also, links really aren't that terrible. If you're a casual, yeah, it's garbage. If you're competitive, nah, they ain't bad. And they really aren't that bad. If you're a casual player, right, you're looking from the outside in, you could look at a card like Saryuja Skuldra and say, oh my god, if you link four monsters together to make this card, you can draw four and put three on the bottom of your deck in any order. That's really good. No, it's really not. It's at three, and no one's fucking playing it. I don't even think Dragon Link is even playing it anymore, and of all decks, that would be a deck that plays it. And it's just not, because who's going to commit four monsters to that when you can commit four monsters to an Appalosa that can be a four times monster negate? There are better things out there. Yeah, it's good, but in practice, it. why would you waste materials on that when you can make an Appalosa? But if you're casual, you're not going to know about Appalosa. You're not going to know about all these things. So then I said, the devs... Um, the R&D research and development behind Yu-Gi-Oh! made the cards, obviously. So then he responds with, competitiveness isn't people running the same shit. That's the opposite of competition. Link's ruined Yu-Gi-Oh! Most smart people know it did. No, it fucking didn't. Um, especially when they brought up Master Rule 5, which allowed Synchros, Xyz, and all that to be in the main monster zones instead of having to be in the extra monster zone. It really fixed a lot, and then Lynx became just another mechanic that you had to use the extra monster zone for, and everybody was able to play their old decks that they were able to play before. Um, also, competitiveness isn't people running the same shit. Yes, it is, because if you want to be competitive, you're going to play the best deck that you possibly can. Look at Dragon Ruler format that I just did a video on that you should go check out. <laughs> Shameless plug. Everybody was either playing Dragon Rulers, Spellbooks, or Evil Swarm because those were the three best decks. Now, you could argue that that's not a healthy format, but regardless, it's still competition. If you want to be competitive, then you're going to play the best deck or the most consistent deck, whatever deck gives you the best chance of winning. So... Why would you say, what What do you consider competition then? Competitiveness isn't people running the same shit. So should we all play our Beaver Warrior decks and get our asses smacked by the one dude in the room playing fucking Tri Brigade? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, so then I said, so people running the best deck isn't competitive. Okay, pimp. And then I went on to say, now if you mean more like everybody playing the same cards, i.e. Max C, then to an extent I agree. However, everyone is playing that dog water card because it's busted, so you have to play it. There is a difference between having cards that everybody's going to be playing and having decks that everybody's going to be playing. Everybody's playing those decks because the deck is fucking broken. Why would you not play the best deck in the room if you want the best chance at winning? Is that not competition? Or, again, should we all play shit cards and then we all play Max C because the card is just fucking good? you got to pick a side here, pimp. You can't just have it be one way and not the other. That's not fair. Now... What's my opinion about Max C? Max C needs to be fucking banned because like that other comment I read, if you're not a control deck and if you're a combo heavy deck and the opponent opens up Max C, you're essentially not allowed to play. And if you don't open Max C and the opponent's combo, they're going to push your shit in all day, pimp. You better get that Vaseline ready because it's going to be rough and hard and it's going to be long. <laughs> and this is the issue with Master Duel as a whole is that they've got cards in the game that are in the OCG, that aren't in the TCG, and the OCG has a totally different card pool. What people don't realize is that the OCG is ahead of the TCG in card pool. They already have things like Dimension Force. They're going to get the Mr. Rune archetype uh, before we do. They already have the Albaz structure deck. They have things that we don't have yet, and they have a different ban list from us that therefore makes their meta different. It's going to play different. When you have a format like Master Duel, which is, again, best of fucking one, which is retarded in my opinion, it, it makes a totally different format where different decks are going to be competitive at different times. And it it's just not a good system. 
what they should have done was had OCG format, TCG format, and do that instead of having Xyz Festival where they're banning terraforming and shit. So guys, these are just a few comments that I may or may not put up on the screen at this point. I don't know. This video's already gone on for too long. But let me know in the comments what you think. Am I totally off kilter here? Am I just wrong? Or do I make good points? Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.